His players took the stand and described what they went through in horrifying detail. I was thinking, what is he doing? He's being weird and I, that I would never come back over his house. Now a high school basketball coach is headed to trial for sex crimes. Late today, a judge moved the case of Farmington High basketball coach Jeremy Tompkins to trial. He's accused of grooming and sexually abusing two young players. One is 16, the other was 15 at the time. Both teens facing their coach in court today. Sean Lay is live at 36th District Court. And Sean, I would imagine it was difficult for the teens to face the coach that they were so close to. You would think so, and it was difficult. We just walked out of 36th District Court. This was a long hearing, a lot of testimony from two witnesses, those two teens, but they faced their coach. They were very clear in what they were describing as alleged grooming behavior that went over over time and then alleged inappropriate and unwanted sexual touching. Here's the latest. We were very close, and he was my coach. In a clear voice, this 16-year-old Farmington High student told the court in graphic detail an October 7th encounter he had with his trusted Farmington basketball coach, Jeremy Tompkins, he called Coach J, turned into an unwanted sexual encounter. A relationship so close with him and other teen players, he says he and many of the teens would spend the night at Tompkins' Detroit home five nights a week. One reason was for early morning workouts. Another was, he says, the 43-year-old coach wanted to talk business with him and the other players. He told us that he was going to help us become millionaires and help us become wealthy. But the teen says business was rarely discussed. He says Tompkins discussed his nightly marijuana use. And the teen says October 7th, Tompkins gave him a massage. Only this time, the coach turned out the lights. The teen says the coach allegedly fondled him under his underwear. The teen first thought it was a mistake. Then he says the coach got back on top of him. He was trying to pry them apart. Were you letting him pry your arms apart? No. Were you saying anything to him at this time? Yes. What were you saying? I was saying, all right, Coach J, repeatedly, and also saying, you're the cheat code, repeatedly. Why were you saying, all right, Coach J? To try and convince him to get off of me. Another young player who was 15 testified that the coach grabbed his thigh. Judge King concerned that there could be other alleged victims out there who have yet to come forward. If these facts are true, then it's likely I don't know this for certain, but it's likely that there are others out there. Back here live again, the judge moving this case to circuit court and now trial. It's important to point out Farmington schools fired this particular coach once they got these allegations and these charges were filed. In the meantime, the judge also, guys, addressed bond. He was on house arrest, but now Judge King raising that bond to $100,000, 10%. Again, he's concerned about potential contact with other kids. Back to you. Right. And Sean, the relationship this coach had with his team went very deep. Very deep, very personal, of course, and they did like their coach, Jay, they said, uh, and here's the deal. Very personal that he would drive to Farmington Hills from Detroit, pick them up, and bring them back to his home in Detroit. So that was a question for prosecutors. Why were you going through those steps? Also, the testimony was that he would tell the kids to get them the permission to spend the night. He would call their moms. He said, I know just what to say. Allegedly, he said he knew just what to say to get her, the moms to agree to have them stay over. So some manipulation there, if true. Yeah, okay. Sean, we appreciate your report this evening.